What is up guys and welcome back to another pay review We are going to be looking at Bon Lahore because he's a motherfucking speed demon And if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins Check out Battlelet.com, the link will be in the description And use the code Itani to get 5% off If you guys are looking for PSN cards or Microsoft points Check out G2A, the link will also be in the description And use the code Itani for a discount Woo! That was so fast, run out of breath But seriously, this guy is so overpowered He's such a speed demon And if you want someone with pace in the Premier League, if you if the if the gold players are not doing it for you, this guy will. He has, I don't know how to explain it to you. He is so so overpowered. It is stupid. So, as you guys know, Ogbonlo has always been one of those players that you have to try out each year because you never know when he is at his best. Now, when he was a gold player, you would see him in every fucking sweat team. Now that he's in the now that he is a silver player, you don't see him as often. But when you do, he will destroy your team because of how amazing his speed is. And at the same uh, at the same time, this guy is very strong. He has around 83 strength. And imagine someone with that sort of strength and that speed. Holy shit, you're in for a ride. Now, basically, he scored me out of like five, four to five games, like 18 goals. So I couldn't even fit all those goals into this video, and some of them were pretty damn nice. One of them uh, was where I think Cahill or another centre back was trying to push me off the ball, and he still manages to finish it. Under pressure, this guy is really good to finish with. I have no idea why, because his finishing stats isn't supposed to be that good. But as you guys would see, in the penalty area, he has one of the best finish I don't know he's just he just seems like he's one of the best finishers in this game he plays a lot like a goal player and you'll see all the teams I have come up against were gold teams so he performed really well against gold defenders and he's only a silver player so you could easily partner him up with Remy or whoever striker you're not liking so say for instance you have Remy up front with Eto you're not liking Eto you could always try Ogbon Lahore if Eto is not fast enough for you so overall what you're expecting Expecting from this guy is a very solid silver striker. He is going for quite a bit, I think 50 to 60k, so he's quite expensive. But you're getting a really awesome player that is going to be very, very overpowered and very effective for FIFA 15 mechanics. He also has that four star weak foot. Sometimes it feels like a five star weak foot. Seriously, it is so good. You'll see a really great finish with his left foot uh, to the near post. So Overall, I don't even know what is wrong with this guy. His finishing in the penalty area is pretty much amazing. One of the best I have tried out. And also, there was another really nice volley at the end. I don't know how I even scored that, but he's always in the right place at the right time. So forget forget about his medium and medium work rates. He was always there. But like I said, he isn't perfect. He has the, uh, the dribbling uh, is quite bad and the three-star skills. Dribbling-wise, he isn't the greatest when he's not running. When you're running with him, I found it easier to turn, but when you're standing still and just walking with him, it was a bit harder to dribble because his agility is bad, and at the same time, his dribbling is bad. So overall, what you're expecting is a very overpowered silver striker that's going to pace abuse past your opponent's team. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Next review is going to be Mayuka. Two silver players in one day. Get ready, because Mayuka is a lot cheaper than Agbon Lahore. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Agbon Lahore gets a 9.8 out of 10.